Hello. Welcome to National Privacy Commission Registration System NPCRS Frequently Asked Questions. Today I will be discussing the most frequently asked question. What is NPC Registration System NPCRS? The NPC Registration System is a secure and reliable web-based portal for the registration of data processing system and data protection officers. The platform will expedite the process for registration of data processing systems in the Philippines as required by the Data Privacy Act of 2012 and its implementing rules and regulations, which includes online web-based and mobile applications that process personal information and or sensitive personal information. Who can use the NPCRS? Those who can use and access the NPCRS are the following. Personal Information Controllers Personal Information Processor under the direct control of a PIC and Individual Professionals as PIC or PIP Who can create an NPCRS accounts? A Personal Information Controller and a Personal Information Processor through their designated Data Protection Officers may create an NPCRS account and an individual professional, as DPO or through an appointed DPO may likewise create the same. When is registration in NPCRS required? In compliance with NPC Circular Number 2022-04 effective the 11th of January 2023, all application for registration of data processing system and data protection officer shall be through the NPCRS only. For the requirements, please refer to the list shown on the screen. Who should register data processing systems? Those who should register data processing systems are the following. Data protection officers of personal information controllers who owns the data processing system. DPOs of PICs providing personal information processors with a DPS. DPOs of PICs using systems as a service shall register the DPS and indicate that processing is done through a service provider. DPOs of PIPs using its own DPS to process personal data under the instruction of the PIC. Are multiple data protection officers for one entity allowed? No, only one DPO is allowed per entity. The entity may appoint as many compliance officers for privacy as required to implement data protection measures. How about common data protection officer, is it allowed? Yes, common DPO is allowed as long as registration is on a per-entity basis. The DPO however is not allowed to use the same official DPO email. We will follow the one entity, one official DPO email, one registration rule. When should the PIC, PIP register using the NPCRS? Entities who are required to register must register a new data processing system within 20 days from the launch of the system. Entities who are required to register must register the appointment or designation of a new data protection officer within 20 days from the designation or appointment. When to do major amendments? Amendments to the name of the entity or the business address are considered major and should be through the registration system within 30 days from the effectivity of the change. 
what are considered minor amendments. All other changes are considered minor, and shall be effected using the registration platform within 10 days from the change. What if my data processing system has changes, or decommissioned? The NPCRS allows you to do minor amendments to your registration information pertaining to your data processing system. DPS may be tagged as inactive through the minor amendment process. What supporting documents should I have to successfully register my account? An application for registration filed by a data protection officer must be duly notarized and be accompanied by the following documents. When is the end of the transitory period to comply? Since NPC circular number 2022-04 was effective last the 11th of January 2023, the 180 days period will end on the 10th of July 2023. I have a certificate of registration still valid until the 8th of March 2023, will this be invalidated? No. All certificates of registration with effectivity date until the 8th of March 2023 will have an extended validity until the 10th of July 2023. If the data protection officer completes the registration process through the NPCRS before the lapse of the 180 days, the validity of the certificate of registration and the NPC seal of registration will be one year from its issuance. I have a certificate of registration valid until the 8th of March 2022 or earlier, is this still valid? No, you must do the initial registration with the NPCRS right away. Will my previous registration record be transferred to the NPCRS? No, we have implemented a clean database for the NPCRS, all are required to go through with the initial registration process. What will happen to my old registration record? Your old registration record shall be stored and disposed of according to the Commission's privacy policy. The Commission is implementing sufficient organizational, technical, and physical security measures to protect personal data that we process. Is the signed, notarized prior application form valid to be uploaded in the NPCRS? No, only a notarized system generated form of the NPCRS will be accepted upon validation. Is the previously submitted secretary's certificate on the designation or appointment of a DPO an accepted supporting document? Only if it was notarized in 2022 and used then to renew registration, provided that there are no changes in the appointed or designated DPO. In case my DPO account is inaccessible, how do I retrieve it? On the NPCRS landing page, you may click Inaccessible Account, Retrieve Here. Upon which, you will be required to input your specific organization together with a new DPO email address and upload of a notarized justification letter. Our organization has more than 20 data processing system, can I access the DPO account simultaneously with multiple device? As a security measure, 
The system will prompt that multiple sessions are taking place. Organizations are required to implement organizational security measures like role-based access control to secure their NPCRS accounts. In the meantime, within the 180 days transitory period, we highly recommend that you prioritize registering your critical data processing systems. 1. Those with automated decision-making and or profiling. 2 client or customer facing online web-based or mobile applications, and 3. Those processing sensitive personal information. Submit registration to acquire your certificate and seal of registration then amend your registration record by adding your other DPS. If we register our compliance officer for privacy, will it mean that the respective region, branch, office is registered? No. Will they be issued their certificates as well or should we just register each region, branch, office separately? The registration of COPs will not grant their respective region, branch, office a separate certificate and seal of registration. The data protection officer shall forward the NPC seal of registration to its region, branch, office for display. A region, branch, office is not allowed to create a separate registration in the NPCRS. Thank you for watching. For more information, you may visit our website at www.privacy.gov.ph.